Welcome back. An estimated 47 million people quit their jobs during last year's Great Resignation. Staffing levels are down everywhere, and employees in just about every business are feeling overwhelmed trying to fill the gaps. You probably experienced this yourself. Career coach and author of the book Red Cape Rescue Save Your Career Without Leaving Your Job, Darcy Eichenberg, joins us live with some helpful tips if you're feeling stressed at work. Darcy, thanks for being with us. Oh, Xavier, thank you so much for having me. So before we even go in and have a conversation with any of our bosses, you say, number one, we have to know our value. How do we even put a number on that or kind of find our value? I think it's good to remember that your job wouldn't exist if it didn't have some connection to something that was important to the company. Often we just go through the motions and we think, oh, would anybody miss me if I was gone? Does this really matter? But when you track back and you say, wait a minute, there's some reason, whether it's the customers that I serve, whether it's the thing that I do that has meaning for other people in my company, you have to recognize that that has value and that actually that value has probably increased as there are fewer and fewer people who might be in your company or it's harder and harder to hire making sure that you know you know that you have value and if you need help then it's your job to ask for it and when you go in to ask you suggest we don't make it about us what do we go in and do then because it kind of is about us you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> it is about us and it isn't about us right because the mistake that we often make is like oh i'm so overworked oh i need help and we put the ask on someone else mm -hmm. and they may be experiencing the same thing they don't know how to help us so but when we connect it again to that bigger picture when we say you know when i am not able to do the things that are most important for my job the things that serve our customers best or serve our clients best then that's actually hurts the company and so I you know, like your help in figuring out how we can change some of this workload, how we can find other help. But you've got to make it about something bigger, not just about what you need, without ignoring the things that you need to keep being productive and useful in what you're doing. And when you go in, you can't just kind of go in with the problem, right? You have to have some alternatives to offer. Yeah, and I think often we don't know exactly what the alternatives are. I mean, in you know, years ago, the easy thing would be, well, we have to hire. Well, that's harder, and it takes longer than ever before. But you can think creatively, like break apart the work you do. And I always suggest people start with the stuff that's really pulling you down. There is something that's in your superpower space, and there's other things that maybe maybe it doesn't have to be done or maybe there's a way to break it apart and hire someone part-time or to be able to have somebody else who loves that kind of work pitch in for a short period of time you can find other solutions to make the workload be a little lighter and you suggest we also do that for our work at home and i don't mean working from home or doing work at home this is like doing the laundry cooking the dinner <laughs> mowing the grass absolutely the stevens want to throw a party uh, maybe they need to ask their friends to all bring something <laughs> instead of doing all the cooking right uh, we we forget sometimes that people want to help us even our own family members and this happens a lot with women where we have a way we want to do things or we say well, I don't want to burden everybody else. Everybody else is busy. But the truth is, people love the opportunity to help you and to help each other. But we've got to ask. We've got to invite people in to let them help us. And once we go to our boss, we make the ask. We don't just leave it there, right? We have to follow up frequently. Yeah, our boss our husband, our kids, yeah. our friends, whoever we're asking for help, whoever we are making a request of, we have to, we can't trust that just one time is enough because I think people have good intentions, but they're busy too and things get distracted. Sometimes we just have to continue to hold people accountable in a gentle and loving and respectful way, but we have to keep the conversation moving. What happens too often, we throw up our hands and we say, oh, well, I did, I asked that already and they didn't do anything, so I'll just do it myself. Doing it yourself and continuing to work the way that you're working 
isn't working. So you've got to try some different strategies to be able to have more of the life that you want and the work that you want. Yeah, as always, Darcy, you are just blowing our little career brains over here. <laughs> By the way, I do have to say, you definitely have an invitation to the cookout that we keep making up that's happening at the <laughs> Stevens house tomorrow. <laughs> So uh, hopefully right. you can get a ticket and get here soon, okay? <laughs> that sounds great. I look forward to it. You have a standing invitation anytime you're in northern Michigan. You can come uh, party with us, okay? That sounds like a, a, a better group I couldn't party with. That would be terrific. <laughs> glad, glad to be part of the four. Can awesome. we make it to five or more? <laughs> oh, yeah. Everyone's invited. She's invited. Yeah, <laughs> see? Michael Stevens himself just invited you to the cookout, okay, Darcy? <laughs> Thank you Thanks, so much. Much. I'll bring the potato salad. Actually, I'm going to ask somebody else to make it. There you go. There you go. Following your advice. By the way, if you want to connect with Darcy and learn more about her book, The Red Cape Rescue, or any of the tips we've talked about, I've got all the info you need at our website, 9and10news.com. Darcy, it's always a pleasure. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Take good care. We'll see you at the next cookout. <laughs> Sounds great. Coming up next on The Four, we're off to the races. We're going to fill you.